Hello. In this video, we are going to calculate the root mean square velocity of a carbon dioxide molecule. First, recall that the root mean squared velocity can be calculated as the square root of 3 RT divided by M, where R is the gas constant, T is the thermodynamic temperature, and M is the molar mass. For carbon dioxide, which has the formula CO2, we know that it has one carbon atom, which has a mass of 12.01 atomic mass units. It also has two oxygen atoms, each one of which has a mass of 15 0.9994 atomic mass units. So we multiply that by 2, 31.9988. We have one carbon atom with a mass of 12.011. And if we add those together, we get a molar mass of 44.0098. And that's grams per mole. For later purposes, we are going to want to think of the molar mass in terms of kilograms per mole. So, knowing that there are um, 10 to the minus 3 kilograms in 1 gram, this is equivalent to 44.0098 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms per mole. We choose a temperature of 25 degrees centigrade, which is equal to 298.15 Kelvin. And last but not least, we are going to need the gas constant R. And the form of the constant that we need is the form 8.3144 joules per Kelvin per mole. Hello. In this video, we are going to view graphs of the wave function solutions for the two-dimensional particle in the box problem. In this particular box, the length in the L direction we call L sub x, and the length in the y direction we call L sub y. Here is the ground state wave function, the wave function for which nx is equal to 1 and n y is also equal to 1. Here we see displayed the probability density for the n x equals 1 and n y equals 1 state for the two-dimensional particle in the box. And we see that the particle is overwhelmingly likely to be in the central region of the box and very, very unlikely to be near either the corners or the sides, unlike a classical particle, which would have an equal probability of being in any particular region of the box. Here is the wave function solution for nx equals 1 and n sub y equals 2. Note that while there are no nodes in the x direction, there is exactly one node in the y direction. Just as in the one-dimensional case, the number of nodes is equal to the quantum number n minus 1 for that particular variable. Here is the probability density for the case n sub x equals 1 and n sub y equals 2. Note again, we can see the probability density is exactly equal to 0 at the node for L sub y over 2. Here is the wave function solution 
for the state where n sub x is equal to 2 and n sub y is also equal to 2. Note that in both the x and y directions, we have exactly one node. Here we have the wave function solution for the 2D particle in the box, where n sub x is equal to 2 and n sub y is equal to 3. Note that in the x direction we have n minus 1 equals 1 node, and in the y direction we have n sub y minus 1 equals 2 nodes. In a graph of the probability density for the case where n sub x is equal to 2 and n sub y is equal to 3, we note that there are 6 maxima of the probability. Here, n sub x equals 3, and n sub y is also equal to 3. In each of the x and y directions, there are exactly two nodes. Here is the probability density psi star psi for the case where n sub x is equal to 3 and n sub y is equal to 3. Here is the case for n sub x equals 2 and n sub y equals 4 we have one node in the x direction and three nodes in the y direction. This is the probability density psi star psi for n sub x equals 2 and n sub y equals 4. Note that there are 8 maxima to the probability function. Here is the very complicated case for n sub x equals 4 and n sub y equals 4. In each of the x and y direction, there are three nodes. Here we have a slightly different type of graphical representation. The height of the wave function is shown as a distinct color. The blue regions are where the function is a maximum. The yellow, amber color, is where the function is a minimum. And you can see the regions around the nose are shaded in gray. Here is the probability density function, psi star psi, for n sub x equals 4 and n sub y equals 4. The last wave function that we are going to examine is the case 
where n sub x equals 6 and n sub y equals 6. In each case, along the x and y coordinates, we have a total of 5 nodes. Here is a graph of the probability density function, psi star psi, for n sub x equals 6 and n sub y equals 6. Here we see again the probability density for the n sub x equals 6, n sub y equals 6 case. But in this particular graph, the perspective has been changed so that we're looking more down onto the surface. I thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.